Hello, my name is Alejandro Sandoval, and this is the Solo Negocios video blog with the summary of the Solo Negocios bulletin for today, June 27, 2018. Today, after eight uh, days in a row with appreciation, the Mexican peso got depreciated mainly because of uh, cautious investors worldwide that are uh, looking for lesser risk. They are increasing aversion against uh, risk and well, basically the emerging markets get affected. Specifically, the, the Bloomberg Dollar Spot Index increased today 0.64% due to this situation and also good economic indicators in the United States where durable goods orders decreased 0.6% in May when it was expected to do it in 1% that fall. But it didn't happen that way, so it improves a little bit the measurement and basically it brings good news for the US dollar. Uh, in the Forex market, they lower positions in pesos as a profit taking also. I mean, eight session, sessions in a row, it's a good deal. But also as global caution increases, because if you see the stock markets worldwide, only Europe got uh, green lights. Uh, the rest of the stock markets went, went in red because of this global uh, risk aversion that is arising due to the trade war, due to the weird situations at the hydrocarbon carbon markets, oil markets, and also due to the divergence that is occurring in the normalization positions of the different central banks around the world. Specifically, the trade war is bringing more uh, damage that could be uh, occurring. Also today, Donald Trump stated that they will be foreseeing uh, other type of sanction, sanctions against those companies, specifically from China, that comes into the US and steal technology information, like in terms of intellectual property, and uh, well, not uh, like uh, trying to avoid tariffs and other type of protectionist uh, sanctions or, or policies. So basically the deal is that in, in this Mexican peso is affected by this whole worldwide uh, situation, not necessarily the internal, even electoral scheme, which right now may be already discounted by the market, as we stated yesterday, and, and that will sanction the market, uh, or the market will sanction the, the, the situation when the new policies of the new government arises next year or even in 2020. But right now, the support still is around the 20 pesos per dollar, 1950 specifically for support, and the resistance 2050 at the wholesale market. In the spread, banks uh, between the buy and sell position, 1.13 pesos uh, for every dollar sold, let's say, and it doesn't have a change res respect gesture, but the truth is that the volatility is there. Uh, it's not increasing as, as could be occurring, but I mean, it is there. And in futures, there were no change uh, uh, compared to yesterday, but the linear trend, simply a mathematical uh, perspective of the graph for the Mexican peso, it's, it's in a bad scenario for the following uh, 30 days in the banking sector and in interbank data from Banco de Mexico for 12 months. So it's not, it's not a nice uh, situation for that measurement. Uh, specifically, the Banco de Mexico conference or bulletin press uh, just uh, from last week stated a, a more restrictive tone in not only the perspective to increase rate, but in the perspective to how they will behave against the future indicators. So we will expect probably more increases in the rate in Mexico, which, which in, in the counter position will act as a bad element for economic growth. But in the meantime, it is better to, to meet the inflation goal stated by Banco de Mexico, at least from their position and their constitutional obligation. They don't have a dual uh, duty regarding growth and inflation in Mexico. We only have the duty at inflation. So they are keeping their jobs uh, good uh, and in compliance more when this potential new government might come in turn in Mexico. This technique, just to talk about the derivative markets, I mean, they are a pretty good market, an interesting alternative for investors but, and, and companies in general, but specifically for, for com companies in Turkey, Brazil, uh, Mexico, Russia, and South Africa, it is highly important. The JP Morgan Chase um, in, in volatility indicator is increasing and is worse in this first semester for 2018 than in even 
the last time it was worse, it was the first semester of 2013. So basically right now, the Mexican peso with a high uh, indicator in this sense of volatility, 68%, which is similar to the last peak in November 2016, well, it's a good time to consider derivative markets for companies and investors. And finally, the OPEC market or the general market for oil, well, it comes up due specifically to the uh, inventories in the US, although there is a lot of uh, elements to be considered right now in the OPEC agreement, the renewed OPEC agreement that took place last week also. Basically, that's the information for today. We'll see you tomorrow here in Solo Negocios. Thank you.